about is equations of lines. So the first thing that I want to review is how to write equations of lines. Do you guys remember how many different ways there are to write equations of lines? Like how many different formulas? No? Okay. There are three. Yes, there are three. So we're going to write them all down. I would suggest that you write the, these down at the top of page nine. Anybody remember any of the forms at all? Y equals mx plus b. Y equals mx plus b. What is that called? Yeah, slope intercept form. Slope intercept form. So this is the very first form you guys learned probably last year or in middle school. Okay, so y equals mx plus b. What's m stand for? Slope. slope. B stands for the y intercept. Y intercept is any point that's 0 comma b. It's like 0 comma 2 is a y intercept. 0 comma 1 is a y intercept. 1 comma 2 is not. 0 has to be an x. So slope intercept form, that's your favorite. What's my favorite form? Point slope form. Point slope form. Anybody remember the formula? Y minus one one equals x minus x one. Okay. Why do I like point slope form better than slope intercept? Or why is it more useful? Don't remember? Or don't know what I'm looking for? Slope-intercept form, you have to have the y-intercept. Point-slope form works with any point at all. Majority of the time, you're not going to have the y-intercept. So this is the, the form that I prefer. And then, do we remember the third form? Standard, Standard form. If you remember from when we did this, I don't really like standard form. I'm never going to ask you to write an equation in standard form, but I just want to review it anyway. Do we remember what standard form is? Okay. AX plus BY equals C. A, B, and C are just constants. They're just numbers. Okay. Standard form we're not using at all. So you guys, for this unit, need to know the first two. Ready to do some examples? We're doing three examples, I think. Okay, so we're going to do example number one. Write an equation of a line that passes through the given point and has the given slope. So, this point, this slope. Am I going to use point slope form or slope intercept? Slope intercept. This is an intercept. It's 0, comma, b. So we're going to do y equals mx plus b. So y equals 1x plus negative 4. You don't need to write the 1. You just write y equals x minus 4. That's the same thing. That's your final answer. Question 4. Am I going to use slope intercept or point slope? Point slope. This is not an intercept. An intercept has to be 0, comma, some number. So in this case, I'm going to use point slope. So I do y minus negative 5 equals 2 times x minus 1. Do you guys remember doing this before? Yeah? OK, so this becomes y plus 5 equals 2 times x minus 1. OK, do you guys remember when we did this the first time that I told you you can leave the line in whatever form you want? So I said you can leave your line in point slope form. Do you recall that? So before when we did this, that was your final answer? I'm telling you just for this unit, everything has to be in slope intercept form. So everything has to be y equals mx plus b. How can I convert this to slope intercept? Distribute the 2. So this is y plus 5 equals 2 times x minus 1. Oh, I didn't redistribute, I just rewrote it. So y plus 5 equals 2x minus 2. If you subtract the 5, you get y equals 2x minus 7. We're not going to do number 5, but just look at number 5. What form would you use for number 5? Point slope or slope intercept? Point slope. Don't get confused by the 0. The 0 is on the y. It's not a y intercept. So you would use point slope form. Am I going too quickly for us? 
No, all this is fresh. Okay. Look at problem seven. Uh, actually, ten. We're going to do problem ten. Okay, so for problem ten, we need to write the equation of line through those two points. How shall we start? <coughs> Find the slope, thank you. That's what you guys did yesterday. Can somebody remind me what the slope formula is? So y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that's going to be negative 7 minus negative 1. So 7 minus negative 1, negative 1 minus 11. Negative 7 minus negative 1, if I change it to adding, is negative 6. What's negative 1 minus 11? Negative 12. Negative 12. And then six, negative 6 over negative 12, what does that simplify to? One half. Okay. Am I going to use slope intercept form in this case or point slope? Do we have a y intercept? No. We don't have 0, 5, 0, 7, anything like that. We just have two points that are not intercepts. So we have to use point slope form. It doesn't matter which point you use, you choose either one. Which one would you all like to use? Okay, first one. So we get y minus negative 1, so y plus 1 equals 1 half times x minus 11. So you got to remember x comes first, y comes second. In the past, this would have been your final answer. But I'm telling you, just for this unit, everything needs to be in slope intercept. So you're going to distribute the 1 half. So we get y plus 1 equals 1 half x minus, it's 1 half times 11. Okay, 5.5, sure, we can leave it like that, or 11 over 2. So lastly, subtract the 1, so we get y equals 1 half x. What's negative 5.5 minus 1? Minus 1. I've got to subtract it, negative 6.5. That's your final answer. I don't care either way. Just for a lot of people, it's easier to leave decimals. I prefer the fraction. So either way is fine. Only time I care is if it's a repeating decimal. You guys remember how I said that? If it's a repeating decimal, I don't want you to use it. It's like 0 .3333. I don't want you to use that. I don't want you to use the fraction. OK, I lied. We're actually doing one more problem. Is that OK? OK, flip the page. Problem 12. Oh, 13. I lied. Okay. Find the equation of a line perpendicular to the given line through the given point. So we are given this line. We want the equation of a line perpendicular to that one, but that passes through that point. What do we know about perpendicular lines? What does it mean to be perpendicular? If I asked you to draw two perpendicular lines, what would you draw? Two lines that intersect and form a right angle. Okay, so perpendicular lines that intersect, they form a right angle. What piece of information do we always need to write the equation of a line, no matter what? Slope. So, what is true about the slopes of perpendicular lines? That's the whole key to writing the equation of a line, is slope. Nobody remembers? Yeah, opposite reciprocals. Write that down. Lines that are perpendicular, their slopes are opposite reciprocals. Okay, remember that the symbol for slope is M. What's the slope of the line that we are given? Negative 3 fourths. It's always what's in front of the X. So then the perpendicular slope will be the opposite reciprocal. So you flip it, change the sign. The perpendicular slope will be 4 thirds. Now, based on this slope, 
And that point, are we using point slope form or slope intercept form? Point slope. If I have a point, it's not an intercept though. So we gotta use point slope form. So we get y minus 12 equals 4 thirds times x plus 5. Distributing that 4 thirds, I get y minus 12 equals 4 thirds x plus, you know what 4 thirds times 5 is? 20 over 3. So if you put the 5 over 1, 4 times 5 is 20, 3 times 1 is 3. So plus 20 over 3. Next case, because it's thirds, you have to leave it as a fraction. I'm going to add 12. So I get y equals 4 thirds x plus 20 over 3 plus 12. How do I add 20 over 3 and 12? You gotta find a common denominator. If this is in thirds, is there a way for us to write 12 in thirds also? Yeah. 12 is how many thirds? Four. Did you say four? No. So like, this is what I'm saying. Two, if I wrote it in terms of thirds, is six over three. Six over three gives me two. What number divided by three gives us 12? 36, yeah, so instead of writing 12, I'm gonna write 36 over three. Right, isn't that the same 36 divided by three is 12? With me? Okay, so y equals 4 thirds x plus 20 over three and 36 over three is 56 over three. Why don't you get the, so I got the exact same thing and I just added 20 over three plus Yes, but I was doing it without a calculator. Can we do it with a calculator and skip that step? Sure. Okay. Questions. Did this refresh our brains enough in terms of 